Hey, hello, Craig Peterson here on WGAN, and of course online at craigpeterson.com. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed last week. I was doing Facebook Lives pretty much every day and talking about mobile security. I also had my free master class on Thursday, and it went on for a little while, but I made sure I answered everybody's questions. So uh, thanks for all of the questions. I appreciate your involvement here. I'm doing this to help you, okay? And if you're not there, obviously I can't help you. But I really did enjoy the, the class and teaching it and, and helping people out. And coming up this week on Thursday, it looks like, I'm going to have a master class on mobile devices. So last week's master class that you guys attended was on Thursday and it was all about VPNs. And I will be doing one this coming week that's all about mobile devices and we got the we've got them planned out here for the next few months actually and it's going to be one ish master class a week one ish right because i'm going to be at some conferences and i have stuff to do with my clients on different days i do uh, kind of a basically it's a chief information security officer i do that outsourced for a number of businesses including some multinational public companies where they need someone on the outside to come in and kind of uh, give them a little bit of coaching and help them out the more senior management in the IT space so that takes time from the, all of this other stuff that I'm doing and it pays for too right so nobody can complain and we had, I would say it was about a third business people on the VPN course and about two-thirds home users. And, and these master classes are really aimed at helping small to medium-sized businesses, basically under 1,000 employees. Everything from a small office, home office, up to about 1,000 employees. That's what these ones are typically aimed at. And... About 80%, 90% sometimes of what we talk about in them has to do with home users as well. So I tend to identify it, say, hey, for you home users and you business guys, this is for you or that's for you. And I did all of that too in my Facebook Lives. So if you just want to check out my Facebook Lives, they're all up on replay on both Facebook and on YouTube, by the way. And you can get them on YouTube by just going to craigpeterson.com slash YouTube and you can get the Facebook ones at guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Craigpeterson.com slash Facebook. I try and make it simple, right? I don't know. Sometimes this stuff is just so complicated. I'm not sure if you guys understand or if you're going to understand or or maybe there's uh, something else I should explain. But anyways, it is complicated. If you need help, you now know where to go. Now, if you want to sign up for the masterclass coming up on mobile device security, go to craigpeterson.com slash masterclass. And you can sign up right there. Off and on, I put these signups on my homepage as well at craigpeterson.com. So you can kind of figure this all out and follow it. Just Make it simple and sign up there, and I, I will stay in touch. Okay. Uh, by the way, these batteries, again, pale blue. This is really cool. You'll find them over on Kickstarter. You can see them if you're watching the video right now on uh, Facebook or YouTube or on my website as well. But um, pale blue, this is neat. These are on Kickstarter. They're going to be for sale. I think they're predicting next month you can buy them. And they'll start shipping from Kickstarter. But this is neat. It's a, a lithium polymer battery. Very fast charge. And the way you charge these things is with the micro USB port there on the side. And inside, the, this is the AAA that I'm showing you the camera right now, which is a very small battery. Inside that, it has room for the micro USB connector and for the electronics for all of the smarts that are needed by it plus it has the storage in the bottom of this battery and you just plug it in it's like a regular usb battery and then to charge it you can use any micro usb cable 
it, these batteries, there's four batteries in a box and they come with a little four-way cable to charge them. But you just plug them in and then they have an indicator around the ring of them to let you know if they're charging and how much they're charging or if they are charged. And you can see the red indicator here means that these ones uh, are charging and it's just one little uh, LED that's red right now which means they're mostly charged and then this one with the green around it means hey i'm charged i'm ready to use there's nothing simpler i'm just so excited about this we'll see how these things all go but you can find them just do a search online for pale blue and a kickstarter will show up and uh, pale blue batteries you have to add batteries to that and it'll show up under kickstarter and you can you can buy them couple of bucks savings right now if you buy them on Kickstarter. But just one of these batteries, according to the information that they're showing, showing on their website, can replace 3,000 normal alkaline batteries. That can, so it can save you thousands of dollars for 30 bucks. It's, it's just amazing. So they sent me these things, and uh, I appreciate it, but I'm, I'm really excited. I think this is a very cool technology. And you know, sometimes I share... The technologies that I use and that are cool right here on the radio show. We've talked about some of them before, like the beautiful.ai stuff. You know, there's another one I use called Canva. And I, I should try and get their CEO on as well to talk about it. But man, if you if you have to design anything for your business, uh, website stuff, I use Canva all of the time. Like the, the frames... If you, let me just, I'll, I'll pop this up on my screen right now so you can see this. Uh, let's see here. Bam. So right now, if you're watching the video, you can see this is from one of my Facebook Lives this week. And it says, watch this if you use sensitive business or personal information on your smartphone. Part three, mobile part three, data leaks. So this whole thing was done in Canva in a matter of like two minutes. It's just amazing what you can do with this stuff. So, excuse me, I'll have to get Canva on too so we can talk a little bit more about them. But I, I use Canva all of the time. I uh, really love that stuff. So anyhow, that's why I'm sharing this. Obviously, I'm not getting paid to promote any of this stuff. I don't get paid to do any of this stuff that I do unless you're one of my security clients, obviously, a, a business that maybe has uh, HIPAA requirements, you know, if you're medical practice or if you have any of the defense department stuff, the DFARS or ITAR, that's where I come in, right? I do the more advanced security stuff. I can do the basic stuff too, but I'm, I'm in there to protect you so you don't go to prison, federal prison, charged with a felony because data leaked out and you are a military sub-subcontractor, right? So uh, a lot of people in the listening area probably are because of the Portsmouth Naval Base, plus here in New England. I'm surprised how many real small companies there are that are providing parts that are provided to contractors that contract with the military. And all of those security requirements flow downhill, right? Just like all of the other problems that we have. And that's where I come in and my team and uh, we put stuff in place that helps. So that leads us to this article uh, that came out this week that I think is phenomenal from the Washington Times. And they're talking about the FBI chasing down an increasing number of Chinese nationals. Now, this is interesting because it ties into what President Trump has been talking about where, you know, he's working on negotiations with China because China's been stealing our intellectual property. Well, in perhaps the largest action the Justice Department has taken to try and get this whole Chinese spying and corporate espionage under control, the Justice Department hit Huawei with a whole bunch of charges, including stealing trade secrets from T-Mobile. Now, T-Mobile is who I have been using here for a little while, and I switched from Verizon, saved a whole bunch of money, and where I'm using it, they've got good coverage. Verizon, I think, still has the best coverage out there, but they're a little expensive. And I may be changing again, we'll, we'll see, but that's where I am right now. 
So a federal judge last week sentenced a Chinese national to nearly four years in prison for trying to steal U.S. space technology. And this is part of the whole ramped up protection of American businesses against the Chinese spies out there. Remember, China is a socialist country. They have people in charge that don't really care what you think. They don't really care what your living conditions is, just as long as everyone's all of the same. So they have all of these people who are living in what we would consider to be slave conditions. You know, people that are living below the poverty line in the U.S. are living like kings compared to what people live in the socialist states of the world, including China. Over the past year, the Justice Department has brought public charges against Chinese nationals and entities in 10 separate trade secret cases. So this is absolutely huge. Uh, 10 cases compared to three that were brought the prior year. Uh, Justice also got a guilty plea or conviction in eight other cases, and that's according to the Washington Times. Half of the 16 names on the FBI's counterintelligence most wanted list are Chinese nationals charged with theft of intellectual property or trade secrets for the socialist Beijing government's benefit. So very, very big deal. Be careful out there. We have clients that, again, military sub-subcontractors, just little companies, 10 employees, 7 employees, who have been invaded and hacked by the Chinese. It's crazy what's going on out there right now. But thank God they're prosecuting. You're listening to Craig Peterson on WGAN online, craigpeterson.com. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about VPN, so stick around. We'll be right back. 